Hello students, in this video we'll give an example of an irrational number that when raised to a power whose fractional part will not be equidistributed between 0 and 1. So let's recall a1, a2, a3, an is equidistributed in 0, 1 if the limit as n tends to infinity of the cardinality of the set of values j between 1 and n such that a j is in the interval a b over n is equal to b minus a for every a b a subset of 0 1 okay and so we know, of course, so the Kronecker theorem, so Kronecker, Kronecker's theorem, which we proved in a previous video, Kronecker's theorem states that if gamma is irrational, then the fractional part of n gamma is an equidistributed sequence. n goes from 1 to infinity is equidistributed. That's what Kronecker's theorem says. However, if we look at gamma to the power n, that may not be equidistributed. And so here's the example. So let's consider, so this is not true, so this is not true for gamma to the n in general, the sequence gamma to the n, the fractional parts of this, of course, in general. Okay, and so here's the idea. What we're going to do is we're going to define. So let's consider one plus the square root of five over two. That's an irrational number, clearly, to the power k, and those fractional parts over here. Okay, now I'm choosing this particular number, one plus root five over two, because I know this relates to the Fibonacci sequence, right? Then let's call these points over here u sub k, then let's not call those, let's call them, yeah, let's call those things, yeah, so we'll call that, let's just leave it as it is, okay, let's just consider that sequence over there, then consider u k is 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the k plus 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the k. Then, this sequence satisfies what? This is satisfies when I plug in 0 to this sequence, I'm going to get a what? I'm going to get a 2. And then when u is equal to 1, what we get? When u is equal to 1, we're just going to have a 1 over here, because I'm going to have a 1 plus or 5, 1 minus or 5, so a 1. So it's not exactly the Fibonacci sequence, but this satisfies the same recursion as Fibonacci, right? So then, so these numbers, this sequence... UK satisfies, satisfies what? Satisfies uk is equal to uk, I'll say uk plus 1, uk plus uk minus 1 for k greater than or equal to 1. Okay? And this is the Fibonacci recursion, right? I won't get the Fibonacci sequence because I start with 2 and 1, so I'm shifting the Fibonacci sequence a little bit. But what's the key feature of this? The key feature of this is I go from 2 to 1, the next one's going to be 3, the next one will be 4, etc., 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 etc. So this sequence UK is integer valued. So UK is integer valued. The sequence UK is integer valued. Okay? That's important. Why so? Well, now let me make the following observation. So let's look at this. So now I know that this other term over here, 1 minus root 5 over 2, is clearly negative. So negative 1 is less than 1 minus root 5 over 2 is less than 0. So that tells me two things. It's negative. And so I can conclude this. I can conclude that 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power 2k is greater than 0, clearly, right? Because it's, it's an even power. And 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the 2k plus 1 is less than 0. 
And in both of these sequences, the 2Ks and the 2Ks plus 1s, they both tend to 0. So this tend, and this and this tend to 0 as n tends to infinity, okay? Excellent. And so now let's look at our fractional parts of our sequence over here. So let's consider now. So consider... the fractional part of 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power 2k and 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the 2k plus 1, those fractional parts, okay? Well, these numbers are tending to 0, so what's the, so I know that if I look at 1 plus root 5 over, to, over 2 to the 2k plus 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the 2k, this number over here, so these numbers over here, and these numbers over here, have to add to give me an integer, right? And these numbers are positive and going to zero. So these numbers over here are tending to zero, and so these numbers over here, the fractional part of those things, have to give me an integer. So I have a tiny positive number, a very, very small positive number, and then this fractional part over here, and those things are going to zero, so in order for that to be an integer, these things are going to have to be converging to one because the tail of that fraction over there, the tail, the tail of this decimal over here, has to add on to that positive part to give me something. So it has to go, these things are tending to one as k goes to infinity. Okay? Whereas over here, what's happening? If I look at the odd numbers, these numbers over here have to what? These numbers over here have to tend to zero. Why so? Because these, to get a fraction over here, these numbers are negative. I have to add a small amount to compensate for that negative number that's going to zero. So I have a very, very, very small negative, a very, 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 a, a negative number very, very close to zero. I have to add in a very small number. So these fractional parts are converging to zero as k goes to infinity. Okay? So in other words, your fractional parts are either going to one or zero. So in other words, what can we say about the distribution of points? about 1 over n, the cardinality of the set of points j between 1 and n, such that what? Such that these numbers over here, the fractional parts of 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power j, are in the interval between 1 quarter and 3 quarters, well, as n goes to infinity, this clearly goes to 0, because I'm either going to 0 or 1. I'm nowhere close to 0.25 or 0.75. I'm just alternating around between 0 and 1, and that tells me this goes to 0. So that shows that this sequence over here of these, these uh, gamma to the power n, where um, my gamma over here is 1 plus root 5 over 2, those powers of gamma are not equidistributed between 0 and 1, so the corresponding result for Kronecker's theorem is not true when we consider powers rather than multiples. Thank you very much.